Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video, I am taking you guys along with us on a road trip. So I actually have three dogs in the back now. We've been in the car for like an hour, so they're getting a little agitated, but we have a long drive. We have about a two hour drive after I get my Chick-fil-A. Um, we are going down to South Carolina to a vet that does only OFA health testing um, and they don't sedate. So that's why we're driving so far. So I have Hattie, Dolly, and Ellie with me and all three of them are getting their cardiac, hips, and elbows done today. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of take you guys along for the journey. So if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. And I am going to order my Chick-fil-A. We're going to get back on the road and I'm going to hopefully be able to vlog quite a bit of this for you guys, but we'll see. So stay tuned. Good morning. Thank you for visiting Chick-fil-A. Can I have a name for the order? It's going to be Bailey. All right. What well, can I get started for you? Can I just get uh, the chicken minis uh, entree? And then a large sweet tea. Alrighty, what else for you this morning? Um, can I just get a Chick Fil A sauce? Of course. And that's all. Sauces? No, that's all. Alright, it is going to be six fifty-seven around the corner. Alright, thank you. My pleasure. Got the goods. Hattie's here. Dolly in the back, and then Ellie. So we got the whole crew. All right, guys, I am back on the road. I got my chicken minis, my sweet tea to start off this really early morning. I've been up since like seven, which honestly isn't too bad, but yeah, so now we're back on the road. Let me look at my phone, see what it's saying, how long we've got. So we've got two hours and 17 minutes and our arrival time was 11.31. We need to be there at 11.30, so hopefully I can make up some time. Um, I'm sure I will, and there's traffic right now in Greenville, I'm sure because it's the morning time and everyone's getting to work, so hopefully by the time we get to Greenville and start like getting down there, the traffic will have let up some, and we won't have to sit in traffic and we'll be able to get there on time. So we're doing pretty good, but no more stops until we get there, so we'll see how this goes. Girls are gonna get back in their places. They got up because obviously I was at Chick fil A and people were talking, so they'll probably lay back down here soon and hopefully take a really good nap. So, look at Miss Hattie, she's so pretty and red. So, here we go. All right, guys, we just made it. I had to stop like five minutes back and use the bathroom because I literally was going to die. And I'm really glad I did. This is at the house of the owner, I guess. So, like, they have a little, like, trailer I guess that they take to different dog shows AKC shows agility trials things like that but then when he doesn't have those he schedules appointments here at his house so it is at a personal person's house so that's a little odd I mean it's legit but it is just kind of a little odd um so I am going to get the girls out let them use the bathroom and then wait on someone to show up and then hopefully try to vlog some of you guys might have to be on my phone I'm not sure what all I'm gonna be able to get but we're all here and really tired of being in the car. So I'm gonna get them out, let them pee some, and then we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we made it. Girls use the potty. And that is like the little vehicle that it's in. It says Blue Ridge Imaging on the side. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done on my drink at this page
Wishing to be someone else I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious Fuck it, I'm made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace myself and then I asked them if I could film for my YouTube channel after Hattie but Hattie did really good she actually probably relaxed and did the best out of all of them um, I got their x-rays all on a flash drive um, that he gave me and then they're sending them off to OFA tomorrow for results um, I'm assuming their cardiacs were normal he didn't say otherwise so I think we're good on cardiacs so we're waiting on hips and elbows to come back and yeah they were really nice I really enjoyed my time with them we had a good talk and it was really good they were really nice once again um i always feel like with a being a golden doodle breeder you kind of have to gauge how people are going to treat you and like act towards you but he seemed very of the mindset that is, you know if you're breeding you need to be doing all the correct steps and if you're caring enough to come to me to get this testing done that you're clearly trying to do it right so i always appreciate that when vets um you know take me seriously even though i do breed like a, a non-akc breed so really nice really liked the assistant as well she was super cool um and it was just it didn't feel awkward or anything which is nice because you're really hands-on in it holding the head you know helping them out so it was really good it took like literally um it, we got here 11 30 and i'm just 12 22 and i'm leaving so really quick really easy i also appreciated how and i probably should wait to like talk about this later but I'm going to do it right now anyway, but I really appreciated how he took multiple different x-rays to get the best view and to make sure the positioning was as like good as he could get it. Um, with Dolly, she was very tense the whole time, so we, Lord, he probably took like, I don't know, eight x-rays of her, because um, he kept being like, okay, adjust this, adjust that, move this, move that, to make sure that we got the best positioning and the best view, so I really appreciated that. He didn't just put them on the table, pull their legs and like take it and be like, okay, well, sorry it's not great but whatever because some vets do that some vets don't care to get the best positioning possible and that's where you get a lot of like bad results when you don't have a bad dog if that makes sense so I was really happy with that and really surprised I honestly just kind of thought they were just going to put them up there take them and just like not really care too much um not necessarily that but you know like not do as many as he did to and try as hard as he did so I really really appreciated that and really liked that about him so I definitely recommend them it's called Blue Ridge Imaging um they go to different shows around the states so they'll go to let me see yeah, they give me a picture like Victory Lane Classic Summer Canine Olympics Aubrey Health Clinic um different like shows um agility confirmation shows all different sort of shows and events they take their truck to and go do ofa testing at those shows so just because he's you know not near you because he's in south carolina i'm in north carolina i drove about three hours today but even though um you may not be near south carolina look them up on facebook blue ridge imaging and see where they're at next they might be near you and you could you know knock out some health testing for your dogs um i definitely feel like it's a little bit on the more affordable side as well because you're not paying for the sedation so that's really good if you're trying to you know save some money a little bit um i wanted to kind of see how i liked um the testing without sedation versus with sedation obviously with sedation you're gonna get more than likely better results because they're a lot easier to position they're not tense but at the same time i think a lot of it has to do with the vet in question doing them and how like if they know really like what they're doing um for instance this guy i really need to remember his name but i can't fall off me right now like this is all he does like he goes to these shows and he'll take 150 x-rays in a day like or do 150 dogs in a day so 
he clearly knows what he's doing and knows what to look for and knows how to position dogs properly. So I think that's well worth it versus going to a vet who may sedate who might only do one or two a month. Um, so they're not as experienced. So you gotta kind of weigh the pros and cons to both sedation with a vet who does them often, but maybe not as, as often, and then without sedation with someone who literally that's all they ever do. So. Once again, I really enjoyed it. Really think it went well. Um, I need to look over the x-rays when I get home. I didn't really look too, too much. He did say a few things about some of the x-rays, but he didn't. He, he was basically like, you know, you never know. Um, OFA has a different panel of people looking at them all the time, so you never know. It's, I mean, in the end, as much as you want it to be, it, or as much as you don't want it to be, it is subjective to the people who are looking at it in the moment's viewpoint and opinion. Um, so you just, it's really hard to say like, oh yes, she'll get an excellent, oh yes, she'll get a fear, oh yes, she'll fail, because you just never know. Um, some vets will tell you, oh, that doesn't look very good, and then the dog will come back excellent. So, OFA testing is much, you know, as it is important, it is very subjective, and if one of the girls come back not really good, and I, you know, want to retest, I might do like pin hip on them to try to compare and see the result. So, that is kind of my opinion there and my thoughts. It just went really smooth. I'm really impressed with them and would definitely recommend them. And I'm just really happy that it went so well. So I'm gonna stop talking and drive three hours home and then I'll catch up with you guys once we get home. All right guys, we just got home. Here's Miss Dolly, Hattie and Ellie. They're running around stretching their legs. Our crest is so long because Matt's been so busy with football that he hasn't had the time to mow. But they're going potty. It's 315 so it's a really long day but hopefully Hattie's gonna potty soon ignore the mess that my husband hasn't cleaned up but we're just stretching our legs the dogs are barking they're ready to get out as well they've been up all day but I'm just gonna let these girls run around for a second and enjoy some free time out of the car since we've been up for so long so and then in a second, I'm going to actually go take some photos of Hattie and Dolly. So I'll vlog that as well, but we're home, made it safe. So, yeah. All right, guys, like you saw, I'm home now. And I just popped in the flash drive and pulled up the girls' x-rays to kind of look over them. I'll show you guys real quick kind of what the x-rays look like. I'm not really going to give my opinion on what I think because I honestly am not really good at reading these or even knowing what they're looking for. But I'm going to flip you guys around and kind of show you guys the x-rays. So this is the hip x-rays that they did so you've got Hattie Ellie and Dolly so that's what those look like so that's kind of the viewpoint that they get and then they also do their left and right elbows so these are the elbow x-rays so that's kind of what all it looks like so far I'm thinking they all look pretty good at least enough to pass um, one looks better than the other two so we'll see um, I'm not going to have the results by the time I post this video, but I will hopefully update in the future and announce that they're officially moms or sad news if we have to retire one early, but hopefully fingers crossed they both pass or they all three pass. So that's basically what it looks like that I kind of want to show you guys. And then for the heart or cardiac test, they just like listen to their heart. So that's what they did there. So I'm still playing, but I'm going to go take some, hey, chill Ellie. I'm gonna go take some pictures of the girls and then we'll be back later. I just finished taking some pictures of Miss Hattie and I also took some pictures of the three of them together but those didn't go great I got like one decent one that I just posted to Instagram it's not terrible but it's not perfect either but it was literally the best I could do with how they were cooperating so I need to take some more pictures of Dolly but I don't think I'm gonna do that today I think I'm gonna try to do it another day she's staying here till Saturday and today's Thursday but I'm pretty sure I got enough footage for this video and it's getting quite lengthy now. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed kind of seeing the other side of dog breeding. Um, oh, let me tell you guys my cost real quick too. So today to get the health testing done just at the place was $1,107. And then I had to submit um, OFA fees and I believe it's like 
45 for each hips and elbows and then 20 or 30 for cardiac if I'm not mistaken I have to double check but it's something around that so probably another like 300 to 350 on OFA fees so around 1400 to 1500 dollars today especially once you calculate gas in it so that's kind of what it cost definitely more cost efficient I feel like going down to South Carolina to this person to do it because like I mentioned before I think you're not paying for the sedation as well but still nonetheless definitely expensive but not too expensive to where you should have an excuse not to do it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye dudes